23 days and counting. Hi everyone, I'm Bianca Goldriga and this is Yahoo's 2016 The Choice. One new national poll has Hillary Clinton leading by 10 points heading into the second presidential debate on Sunday. Clinton will be taking time off the campaign trail today to prepare for that debate, which is a town hall style. Meanwhile, Donald Trump added a town hall to his campaign schedule today in New Hampshire. It's being called the scrimmage before the big game. So what should we expect to see Sunday night? Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski are the co-hosts of Morning Joe. They're over at the MSNBC studios. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, guys. Good to see you. Thank Great to you. be here. Thanks for having us. So, Joe, let's start with you. As you heard, Trump is hosting a town hall debate today, uh, preparing for Sunday's show and debate. How important is it for him to connect with audience members who will be asking most of the questions? We know from the past that town hall style debates have made or break candidates. You're exactly right. Uh, you go back to 1992. I think one of the turning points of the 92 campaign when George H.W. Bush was going up against Bill Clinton were a couple of moments. One of them when Bill Clinton connected with uh, an audience member and said that he felt her pain. And it was something that you couldn't get from behind a podium and he was just right there and they connected. And then you also had another picture of George H.W. Bush just sort of glancing at his watch, uh, seeming distracted and almost bothered by this debate mm -hmm. process. Very disconnected. So it makes a big difference. Al Gore crowded George W. Bush back in 2000. Sighing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all the sighing. So it, the, it brings out the best and the worst of candidates. If you're a candidate like Bill Clinton, it's very good for you. Uh, if you're like George H.W. Bush, it may not be as effective. So the question is, who does it favor the most, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? It's a good question. I just wonder whether Donald Trump may not be the one that ends up looking more natural yeah. uh, in that sort of setting than Hillary Clinton, who, as a candidate, sometimes can be stiff and awkward. Yeah, body language really will be uh, important this Sunday. But Mika, I know you just spoke with um, the man who many consider the, the winner of Tuesday's vice presidential debate, Governor Pence. Uh, although if you ask Donald Trump, he'll say that he was the winner. Yeah. But <laughs> Pence sort of deflected your questions the same way yeah. he deflected Kane's attacks uh, on his candidate. These VP debates are supposed to be about the running mate making the case for their candidates, right? Do you think that's a smart tactic to convince undecided voters? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I was kind of, I was thrown off by Governor Pence, to be honest with you. Um, I thought he was extremely skilled, um, in the same way that Kellyanne Conway is. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they really actually make Donald Trump look good. And, um, I wasn't sure if that was possible. And in terms of the debate, um, and, and I, I feel like there's a lot of Republicans who are in such a tough position. You see, like Kelly Ayotte and uh, Paul Ryan really struggling with how to balance being for or against Donald Trump to their constituencies or uh, to whoever they have to please. And Mike Pence does it, like, really well. Yeah. Um, having said that about the debate, I think Donald Trump doesn't have the discipline to do a lot of things that he could do to actually win the debate on Sunday night. He has shown himself to not be able to do more than what he does. He's not a good actor. He's actually who he is, and he can't be anything else. Yeah, it's interesting. And this year, 2016, when Kelly Ayotte has to walk back comments as a presidential candidate is not someone who you should look up to as a role model. It really is telling where we are right now. Uh, Joe Kane, meantime, mm -hmm. sort of dodged a bullet by not having Bill Clinton's comments about Obamacare brought up during that debate Tuesday night. It's surely going to come up Sunday. How damaging yes. were his comments this week, not only to Hillary Clinton, but to Barack Obama as well? It depends. The media hasn't really picked it up as much as I would have thought they would have picked it up. Uh, but I can tell you, it certainly will. I don't know how damaging it'll be for Democrats, but for Republicans who have been fighting against the Affordable Care Act for years that have been mocked and ridiculed by Barack Obama for voting to repeal it, what, 50, 55 times? Bill Clinton did two things. One, he justified all of their past fights against Obamacare. And the second thing he did was he spoke out, you know, he was called the explainer in chief in 2012 in defending Barack Obama's economic policies. Well, in 2016, 
He's been the explainer in chief for Republicans who we've heard come on this set already and use his argument that if you work 60 hours a week, if you play by the rules, if you, you know, really busted it in the workplace, as Bill Clinton said, you actually have a health care plan by the federal government that penalizes you for your hard work. Mm. And so Bill Clinton gave that talking point to the Republican Party, and I'm sure it's going to help a lot of Republican candidates across the country. I don't know what type of impact it's going to have on the federal level, but I do know that Donald Trump will be talking about it on the It's also uh, on just fascinating. I mean, President Obama, recent poll shows that he has a 55% approval rating, right. the highest in his second term. Um, it, there's got to be some incredible dynamic of resentment going on there for these so things to resentment. keep slipping out. Yeah. Oh, yeah and, and it wasn't just this. We, we had a series of quotes that we played in clips earlier today of past insults he can't help himself. that Bill Clinton uh, has launched towards Barack Obama during this campaign, uh, saying that he's not a transformative president, saying that he's painted a picture that millions and millions and millions and millions of Americans don't recognize, that they're living a tough life, uh, and then calling his signature legislative accomplishment uh, the craziest thing in the world really suggests the bitter resentment from 2008, it's still, it's, it's still with It's Bill still there. Clinton. You have to wonder how uncomfortable those phone calls are with Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton <laughs> after these moments keep happening. And I know you guys want to go and have to go, but Mika, let me ask you finally, um, it's an, a topic that's really important to you. You've talked about this a lot. In a new interview, Trump seems to make light of his past comments about you know, women's body images, saying that they were done for, quote, entertainment. What do you make of that? And, and the fact that he even associates comments about women and these voters who he desperately needs as, as just entertainment, the man who's running for president, I'm interested to get your thoughts. Well, I think, first of all, Trump supporters agree with that. And they'll say, we know what he means. And they watched The Apprentice and they knew, they, they kind of are in on his joke. Um, I think some of the things that he said recently about Miss Universe sort of rehashes the things he said in the past and put them in a new light and show the women of America and maybe other women who were on the fence or not voting him for him at all a renewed kind of resentment because that's the kind of thinking that you know we dealt with in the 70s and mm -hmm. the 60s it's not the kind of thinking that we look at today and it's really a setback for women for comments like that to be accepted or for a serious candidate to be making comments like that so i find it to be really repugnant um, i will say that i think that it's going to be a tough balance for Hillary Clinton to go after Donald Trump on these statements. I just think that it's you're talking about the past. Perhaps loaded mm. for her to even go into that territory. Yeah. Because I think he could be extremely dangerous toward her. As you said before, she should just be focusing, in your opinion, on on her accomplishments throughout her career. Um, but, but we shall yeah. see. This is all... Yeah, I'm not saying it's fair. I'm just saying I, I have a bad feeling about this. It's a delicate balance. But we shall mm -hmm. see, of course, this all happening Sunday night in the debate in St. Louis. But we're going to, in the meantime, leave it there. Thank you so much for, for joining us, Joan Mika. Always great to have all you right. on. Good to yeah, see you. Thanks for having us. We love being on. Great to see you. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Thanks. And we'll have full coverage of the second presidential debate right here on Yahoo starting at 8.30 Eastern Time on Sunday. In the meantime, we always look forward to hearing what you have to say. You can follow Yahoo News and me, Bianca Goldriga, on Facebook and Twitter. And use hashtag Yahoo Now to let us know what you think about everything you've just heard. Thanks so much for watching.